We are counting down to the Summer Olympics in Paris. The opening ceremonies are just four days away now. And to celebrate, our WBI our crew has made its way to an Eiffel Tower. Our live anchor Katie Inman is in Paris, Tennessee this week, all the way in the west part of the state with all of the fun to be had there. Hello, Katie. Bonjour, shall I say. Comment allez-vous? <laughs> Bonjour, Brittany. Bien. And I have to say that I was wearing a beret earlier, but I had to take that off because I think it's made of wool and it was very hot. So forgive me for not being as French as I could be. We've actually got two Eiffel Towers right here. One is shooting out water and one is a 60 foot replica of the real thing in France. But I want to give you a window into Paris, Tennessee, and the best place to start that tour of the city is right here at Eiffel Tower Park. So first up, we got to talk about that Eiffel Tower replica. It is made of steel, as I said, 60 foot tall, and they actually have two stages on that Eiffel Tower too. At night, it even lights up different colors. So right now, it lights up red, white, and blue, and then different times of the year, like Valentine's Day, it's pink, and then around Christmas, they do red and green, and they even have a Santa climbing up the side of it. And on the other side of it, they have a playground where kids can swing and slide and have plenty of fun. All right, I now want to talk about where I am standing and actually cooling off is the splash pad and it is complete with an Eiffel Tower that shoots out water. It's actually the state's largest non-commercial splash pad because it's a city park and it's a perfect way to beat the heat. There's two parts of it. We're going to show you the second part here in just a little bit, but last but not least, they have an Olympic sized swimming pool. I thought that was very appropriate, appropriate given the fact that the Olympics are at the end of the week. It's a place where the public can come have some fun and escape the heat for sure as as well it looks very inviting especially because it's hot right now and the mayor says people come from all over to check all this out we have more people that come to that park from everywhere you just never know where they'll be I mean we were there last week and a couple was there from India how did they get to Paris Tennessee the Eiffel Tower in Paris and we have folks who come here and propose and you know just fun things like well I told you I would bring you to Paris so it's a, it's been a, it's a always fun. And in fact, on Friday, they're having a big Olympic kickoff celebration where they're going to have a big screen set up at Eiffel Tower Park. They're going to show the opening ceremonies. They're going to have a parade. They're going to have food trucks. So they're really leaning in to sharing the name with the Olympic host city this year. And of course, they told me that they are really <laughs> excited that Paris is on the map and that we're here to shine a spotlight on it as well. And that's exactly what we're going to do Monday through Wednesday this week. But coming up in the next half, Hour. We're going to give you more of the history of Paris, how it came to be, and then where it is today. But Brittany, I'm going to go ahead and send things back to you in the studio. Merci beaucoup for your time. Ah, Darian. <laughs> Merci, Katie.